Blessings to everyone in the name of Jesus. Happy to be with you today at this time. May God touch you, speak into your hearts. So today God is going to deliver many people. How many of you believe? Because the power of God has been here. I feel the presence of God. So if you with prayers watch this live video, surely you will be blessed. You will be moved to the next level. You will be delivered by the hand of the Lord because His grace is not finished. We have not fully consumed His mercies. His mercies have never failed. So God's touch is coming upon you. God's care is coming upon you. So I welcome everyone, those who are watching this uh, live video. May God bless and let there be clarity in every sense. May God speak into your heart. So with much uh, belief, with much uh, belief in your heart, if you hear the word of God, surely it will make the things move. What that is stagnant in your life, that will be moved by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So I welcome everyone, those who are watching this live video. Do not be dismay do not be worried whatever you are uh, now facing today this time maybe it is night or maybe it is morning but what problem you are facing right now if you think that it is uh, very difficult to achieve it is very difficult to get something or it is very difficult to get a deliverance i tell you that god's grace is upon you if you cry to god there is a god in heaven who is listening to your prayer so do not be worried Surely God is going to touch your family. God is going to take your family and move, you are going to move into the next realm. How many of you believe? So do not be worried. I am going to pray for you. Hallelujah. So let us close our eyes before starting the live. Father, in the name of Jesus, let there be clarity in every sense. There should not be any distraction. Let the network be good. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus. May the name of Jesus only be exalted. Give me revelation prophecy. May the power of God be released. Lord, speak into everyone's heart. Touch everyone. Bless every family. Lord, thank you Lord for releasing your presence and power. Touch everyone. May the name of Jesus be exalted. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord for speaking through me Lord. I submit myself before you Lord. Speak. Lord, touch everyone Lord in the name of Jesus. Amen. So, today this time God has given me a word to share with you. It is from the book of Hallelujah. It is from the book of uh, Lamentations, Lamentations 3.22, Hallelujah, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, praise the Lord, because His compassions fail not, they are new every morning, great is your faithfulness, Hallelujah, so yeah, once again I will read, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed, because His compassions fail not, they are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentation chapter 3, 22nd and 23rd verse. It says, we are not consumed. We are, so do not be dismayed. Do not be worried. Don't think that we won't get our prayer request answered. Because here it is saying that the Lord's mercies never fail. It is at the door. It is at the door. When you cry to Lord, there is a God in heaven answering your prayer. So do not be worried. Your verse is saying, His compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Every morning, His mercies are new. His, His mercies are new. The grace is new. So when you cry to God, the God in heaven is going to give you a breakthrough in your life. So do not be worried. Hallelujah. So it is saying the Lord's mercies, through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. Hallelujah. Do you know, do you know the meaning of consume? It means that we are not burned up. We are not uh, put down. We are not being thrown out. We are secured. We are insured. We are guaranteed because the Lord's mercies are there. It, it will never fail. There is a God in heaven who answers our prayers. So do not be worried. A greater anointing is coming upon you. It is. It gives a breakthrough in your life. It gives a breakthrough in your family. How many of you believe what, whatever prayer request prayer this morning you have? Maybe it is nine. Whatever prayer request you have and you have been crying to God. Lord, I have not given any prayer request at this time. But at this time, at this time when I am ministering, Holy Spirit is saying, 
God is opening the door for you. How many of you believe? For me also, I have many prayer requests. When I minister, the Lord is opening doors for me. How many of you believe with me? How many of you believe? Say Amen with me. Amen. In the name of Jesus. How many of you? At the same time, when you are watching this live video, there is a God in heaven. His name is God Jehovah. He is the God of Israel. And He is opening the doors for you. Hallelujah. So, so it is at, the, at your it is at your door. It is opening. It has already been opened. Have you not known it? He is a God who opened the road in the sea. He is a God who opened the road in the wilderness, which man cannot do. God can do. You may be thinking how it is possible. Maybe you have no strength, but it is by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is by the might of the Holy Spirit. So God is releasing His angels to rescue you from whatever situation. You are. How many of you believe the grace of the Lord is upon you? More power, more anointing. It is giving a IC settlement. Charlotte Down, sister, I heard the word settlement. There is a settlement in every area of your life. Whatever that has been not settled, whatever that has been in dispute, it is going to be settled by the grace of God. And more anointing, Sister Carol Smith, sister, more anointing coming upon your life. It will give a breakthrough. So do not be worried. Do not look back. Just move forward. I focus on Lord and you will see the hand of the Lord coming upon you. Hallelujah. So do not be worried. Hallelujah. When uh, you must uh, think about the situation, how when Daniel was ordered to be put in the lion's den, when he was put in the lion's den, he was not frightened. How can we say that he was not frightened? Because he was sure that there is a God in heaven who will deliver him. So he was sure. So how many of you are sure this time that you won't fail, you won't, you won't put your head down before other people, you will be honored, you, no, nobody will uh, put you to shame, nobody will uh, dishonor you, God will honor you, how many, you must be sure, hallelujah, because the Lord's grace is upon you. I see the Lord touching everyone. I see the Lord touching your family. I see many, many things that has been stagnant for a long time is going to move by the power of the Holy Spirit. It is breaking the chains. Lord is touching many people here, those who are watching. How many of you feel the power of the Lord? How many of you feel the experience? How many of you experience? The presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. When you feel the power of the Lord upon your body, you must understand that something is going to happen in your life. Something is going to open in your life. What the enemy has been shut down for a long time, it is going to be opened right now in the name of Jesus. So do not be worried. <clears throat> Somebody is saying, I have many prayer requests. Till this time, no, no, my prayer requests have been heard. But today, I hear what the Holy Spirit is saying. Focus on only on Lord and He will honor you. You won't be put to shame before your relatives. You won't be put to shame before your relatives and neighbors. Because God is going to honor you before the sun sets, before the sunrise. Wherever you are, Holy Spirit is saying that I will honor you. I will hear the testimony in the name of Jesus. God is going to honor you. God is going to honor you because His mercies never fail. Hallelujah. I will read that verse once again. <clears throat> Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. This is the guarantee. The guarantee is that Lamentation 3.22 Through the Lord's mercies, we are not consumed. How many of you, how many of you are happy? That we are not going to be failed, we are not mobbed, we are not put down, we are not going to be dishonored because the voice is saying through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. How many of you say Amen? His compassions, His mercies never fail. It is at your door. Every morning it is new. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Oh, oh, oh Lord, your faithfulness is very great. So everyone will be blessed. Not by because I am saying it is written in the word. Lamentation 3, 22, 23. Meditate that word. Meditate that word. And before sunrise, before
before sunset you will see a miracle this is what holy spirit is saying before sunrise and before sunset your prayers will be answered because his mercies never fail his compassions never fail the mercies are at the door only you have to just open your eyes to heaven and call lord when daniel was put in the lions den he didn't look around he didn't look aside but he looked on god he focused on god maybe he had cried lord he may he have cried and he was protected he was protected from the lions den so the enemy cannot trap you no one can make you fail because the grace of lord is upon you i see a wall of fire around every one of you how many of you you are going to be honored in your play in your place hallelujah adore me adore me moment of you are going to be honored in your place whatever you are asking the lord at this moment i see the god has already been provided when you go from after this live video you will hear a happy news and that happy news is because of the mercy of the lord upon you and your family what you have been asking i see something planning you are been asking to lord the lord give me something i see something the lord is planning something in your family in your ministry so you are going to be moved to the next level so the grace of the lord is upon you hallelujah so we have a guarantee that we won't be consumed so we are very happy maybe you are now maybe the order has come before you like that of uh, that has come before daniel imagine the order came to daniel and everyone that those who do not worship king will be put in the lions den but what was daniel's attitude when he heard that when he heard uh, that uh, order i believe that he was not afraid because he believed in god so maybe at this time you have many prayer requests you you have many prayer requests at this moment at this moment also when i am ministering i am also ma facing many many problems hallelujah when i am ministering one of my church member has has been died I, she she has been promoted to glory at this time so after this live video i want to go and bury her so i want to go to the graveyard and do the funeral service so i am not worried because god has provided everything i believe in god so when we are in this world we face many many problems but don't look into that problems look into the word of god look into god look into god's face and he will deliver you hallelujah what happened to the israelites when the israelites were uh, wandering through the wilderness they were worrying about food they were worrying about enemies they were worrying about water everything instead of focusing on god they are worrying about the daily needs i tell you don't worry about the things don't look, look into the things that you are in need but look it, into the face of god and god will honor you i see a blessing coming upon your life so you need not to be afraid the grace of the lord is upon you the fire of the lord is upon you it is consuming all the enemies that stand before you whatever that stands before you i see the fire of the lord coming and burning all the enemies all the plans of the enemies you are going to be lifted to the next level because the grace of the lord is upon you hallelujah imagine the one joseph who, who was in the who was in the well the, his brothers put him in the well it was that well was not used for a long time so there might be snakes snakes poisonous snakes inside that well so when he was thrown into that well it was not uh, used there was no water there might be snakes other reptiles when he was put into that well but uh, when he looked up he, he has not seen anybody the his brothers dropped in there and they left so but what i i believe that he didn't he might have not cried he might have cried only to god i believe so god sent somebody to take him out god sent somebody some merchants to take him out of the well who he, joseph has never known hallelujah so today i am telling you there won't be anybody to help you there won't be anybody to help you but god is sending some person who you have never seen in your life that's why i told you about the circumstances of joseph he was put in the he was thrown down into that well
well. There might be poisonous snakes and reptiles. But when he looked up, he didn't see anyone, any of his brothers. They all left in there in the well. But he might have only cried to God and he had faith. So God took some other people whom he had never known. And they took him out of the well. Hallelujah. So today this time, they, you might be thinking who will come to help you. Nobody will come but the one who is sent by God will come and help you. So don't rely on any human person. Don't rely on any person. But rely on God. If, if it is one person or no other person, no, don't bother. It might be even an angel. It might be even an angel. God is faithful even to show visions to somebody whom you do not know. And that person will come and help you. Today a miracle is going to happen in your life. So it is going to change your life. How many of you believe? Hallelujah, hallelujah, have the faith like that, like that of Joseph, have the faith like that of Daniel, have the faith like that of Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. The Lord is now, the Lord is now in you, Jesus is in you, so you, whatever you need, I see, I see the grace of the Lord upon you, Sister Polia Winlock, I see, I was praying for you, hallelujah, I was praying for you. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I, I, I saw a city, I saw a, a, a big room, furnished room, so God is going to give you a house, this is what, it is a furnished room with a city, you are going to get a house in the name of Jesus, it, it won't fail, it is the promise of the Lord, it is what I have seen, sister Polia Willow, God is going to give you a house in this time, so do not be worried how you will stay how you will how you will do everything because God's grace is upon you I see the Lord blessing everyone in this group God is blessing everyone God is touching everyone the fire of the Lord is upon you power in the name of it is breaking the chains hallelujah you can experience that in your body hallelujah God is healing God is healing God is healing the skin diseases God is healing headache migraine in the name of Jesus oh shakabara God is going to extend your boundaries hallelujah Joyce Kalton sister God is going to extend your boundaries what the enemy has put a limit in your life I see the angels coming and taking away the limit taking away the posts of the limit and you are going to extend you are, your boundaries are going to extend joy certain sister I see more power is coming upon you and you are going to minister you are in the wilderness but you may be thinking there is no one to help you but I see God sending one person to help you that the grace of the Lord is upon you so very soon you will be in the pulpit ministering the people in the church might have rejected you but don't be dismayed don't be worried because the grace of the Lord this is the plan of the Lord very soon you are going to minister hallelujah so the grace of the Lord is upon everyone those who are ministering so have much faith how many of you believe hallelujah so do not the circumstances do not should not rule you hallelujah the circumstances should not rule you hallelujah God should rule you Holy Spirit should govern you <coughs> not the circumstances maybe the problems are very big but don't give much importance hallelujah Jesus has said that if you worry, can you raise your height to a little one more inch? No, you cannot do anything. Only by the grace of the Lord. So don't don't be worried about the problems. The problems may be big, but our God is greater than that. Hallelujah. So the lions were calm. The lion Lord put the lions the mouth shut. So today, suppose. Somebody is saying, I see, somebody is fearing that what people will say, God will shut their mouth, God will shut their mouth, they won't say anything before you or before anybody else about you because His mercies never fail, His mercies are new, fresh every morning, so you cry to God, His mercy, those who are at night now, before the sunrise, His mercies will be new. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Those who are, those who are mourning before the sunset, 
There will be a fresher anointing because the mercies are new. It will never fail. It has not stopped. It depends upon your faith. It depends upon your faith. So exercise your faith. Don't lose hope. Have faith and you will see miracles. I am, I am seeing people are getting more anointed by the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. God is going to bless you. God is going to bless your family. Hallelujah. Engagements. Those who are not having the marriage is solemnized. I heard the word engagement. So God is having coming to bless your family. Your children are going to get married. Don't worry about the finances. The Lord will provide. I see the doors for the ministry open because His mercies never fail. How many of you believe? This is the words which I was reading. I was reading the words. Hallelujah. Through the, through the Lord's mercies we are not consumed. Because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Lamentations 3. Lamentations 3. 22 and 23. Meditate that word. You will see deliverance before sunset. Before sunrise. If it is night. Throughout the night. Meditate this word. Before sunrise you will see a miracle. Because his mercies never fail. It is fresh every morning. It is. It will be fresh. Every morning a new anointing will be coming upon you. If you kneel down and pray, every morning our God is faithful to release a new anointing to overcome all the temptations, to overcome all the schemes of the enemy. So the grace of the Lord is upon you. God is going to bless everyone. Hallelujah. So I am going to pray for you. I am going to pray for you. How, how many of you believe that you are going to be touched right now? If you believe that God is going to touch you right now, the Lord's hand is coming upon you and touching you, giving you a breakthrough. Move in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Power in the name of Jesus. Focus on Lord and you will see greater things going to happen in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, I am going to pray for everyone. Let us close our eyes. Father, in the name of Jesus, touch everyone. Touch everyone. Build a fence around everyone. I protect. I, in the name of Jesus, Lord, build a fence around everyone. Those who are watching, everyone and their family. Protect everyone from coronavirus. They should not be hospitalized. They should not be affected by any virus disease. Build a fence around them as your mercies never fail. Protect them, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh, power in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch everyone. Let healings take place. Let uh, the demons flee. Let there be a breakthrough, a financial breakthrough. Holy oh, yeah, Lord, sister, a financial breakthrough. Lord's power is coming upon you and you are going to swim. You are going to swim in the Holy Spirit. You are going to see visions. You are going to be used by God. Release in the power of God upon you. Fire in the name of Jesus. Lord, touch everyone in the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaka. So God is going to bless everyone. Those who are watching, how many of you believe? Because His mercies never fail. Hallelujah. Rebo Shakaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The grace of the Lord is upon you. It is at the door. Only you have to believe in God. The Lord is upon you. The Lord is upon you. The Jesus, the care of Jesus is upon you. It won't fail. It is fresh. Every morning it is fresh. Right now, everyone be touched in the name of Jesus. Let everyone be filled with the Holy Spirit. Right now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Shaka Barama, in the name of Jesus, Lord, Lord, thank you, hallelujah, hallelujah, moving, hallelujah, uh, Kimberly sister, it is the time to move, it is the time to get new revelation, you are going to breathe new power, you are going to see more power, uh, the Lord's hand is coming upon you, your children are going to be blessed because of the grace upon you and you are going to be Separated in your village because God wants you to do the ministry, a powerful ministry. So the hand of the Lord is upon you. A new you, God is going to take you into a new dimension. There may be enemies that stand against you, but they won't come. You won't be consumed. You won't be consumed because the Lord's grace never fails. The Lord's protection will be upon you. Hallelujah. I pray for everyone in the name of Jesus. Bless everyone in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And and Subhadri sister, I see 
uh, you are covered by uh, what i see is uh, you are covered by uh, many uh, clothes uh, many clothes like that something you are co covered by the uh, some clothes i sense like that that means you are protected you, you nobody can touch you no no enemy can touch you you will give you will give everything at the right time you will give to those people at the right time so do not be afraid your god's care is upon you hallelujah lord i pray i pray for everyone i pray for everyone in the name of jesus i pray for everyone bless everyone in the name of jesus touch everyone let everyone's family be protected let everyone be protected thank you lord in the name of jesus for being with me thank you lord i humble myself let god bless everyone in the name of jesus amen hallelujah so uh, god's grace is upon you his mercy is never fail it will be fresh it will be new every morning every morning the anointing will be new so every morning before taking a cup of tea before doing something kneel down and pray for a fresh anointing and that anointing will lead you the whole day so god is going to bless you god is going to bless you in many areas of your life in jesus name amen so i thank everyone those who have been watching this live video i will be on live next week same time in this group i bless all the leaders all the members of this group may god bless everyone in jesus name amen